Hey, that was quite a launch. That was quite a launch. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Tonight, we're talking charity. So first of all, I want everybody to kind of introduce themselves, and then I'll talk a little bit. Then I'll let Greg and Chad start uh, giving each other crap. So, good, Greg, you introduce yourself first. Uh, Greg Elzing. Same guy. Okay. But... Can you, like, maybe say who you are, what you do for Badger State? You know, this is a professional uh, live audience we got watching tonight. So we're bringing in all the Missouri people tonight. So. I run the complaint department at the Badger State Tractor Pullers. I'm in charge of that. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right. Next, I'll just, I'll just introduce, introduce Greg next time. John? I'm John Strandley with the Badger State Tractor Pullers, one of the announcers of the crew. And but, the co but you're the co-host. You're the co-host. You and Greg the are the co-host co of yeah, Down and Dirty. I always yeah. bat and clean up for Elsing. I'm the dirty part. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Richardson, tell us who you are. Yep, I'm Chad Richardson. Uh, I'm with the group High Limit Productions. We put on uh, put on one poll a year um, with the proceeds going to the Children's Miracle Network Hospital here in Columbia, Missouri. Yeah. So the idea was to get um, you on tonight, Chad, because I don't. I know a lot of associations raise money in polls, okay? Uh, but this is a lot of fun. Um, both part of the Pro Polling League, your events, a Pro Polling League event, Chad, yep. and you pull light pro a lot with PPL. And then yes. obviously Badger State's part of Pro Polling League. And you guys raised between the two associations over $200,000. And I know Greg had said something to me like, hey, get your buddy Richardson on and let's have a little contest next year. And then so Greg wants to stick it in your butt and he wants to talk to it because it's a whole association. And you're going to come back and say, hey, we're just one poll. So before we get all mad at each other, uh, Chad, I want you to uh, Chad. How much money did your event raise this year? And then talk about a little bit and then we'll let Greg go. So this is uh, this last year was the fourth year that we've uh, put on an event. Our first event was 2019, and then of course 2020 we wasn't able to have the event. Uh, the very first year we did this, we just kind of went out on a limb, had no idea what to expect, and we gave around I think it was around forty thousand dollars the first year, and we're like, holy cow, this actually might work, you know. And so it got us all fired up, and we got to really putting our heads together, and then uh 2020 hit and kind of kicked us in the leg and then we came back in 21 and was it 51,000 and then 22 71,000 and then last year uh we were just shy of 82,000 wow That's kudos pretty... to you guys <clears throat> so yeah yeah i appreciate it it's uh obviously you guys know the amount of work that goes in to uh to make something like this happen uh we added a kicker event uh, this fall just to kind of help jump start us for next year. And we did, uh, we did a side by side ride uh, just yeah. basically ride around and drink beer and uh, pull poker cards, poker hands. And then we had a dinner and auction stuff that night. And we raised, uh, I want to say it was like 22 or $23,000 here 
uh, in October for that. Wow. That's pretty cool. We are, we are going to have a lot of fun tonight. And then Greg and Badger State's going to, you know, they're going to compete next year with Chad. We'll have to come up with a percentage on it. But if you're a promoter, if you're listening to this or you're another poll and you're listening to this, they're going to share a bunch of ideas tonight. And that's ultimately what this is about. But there will be a lot of competition as well because Mr. Elsing is very competitive and so is Mr. Richardson. And John and I are just going to try to, we're going to be the referees in the corner. Okay. I just want to, I just want to point that out, but um, Chad, can you go left or right there on the screen as people see this? I know not everybody on your team is there, but who are the people that are in this picture? Uh, so that's Justin Edwards. We'll do front row, Justin Edwards and his wife, Alicia Edwards. And he had, the, he had the, that light pro ragged, right? With the Run, two running years. ragged. Running ragged. Yeah. Yep. And before he sold it, he had uh, had a couple light supers uh, on alcohol named Firewater. Okay. And then uh, Kristen Fritchie is the one in the center in the black. And she is our go-to person with the Children's Miracle Network. Uh, that's who we work directly with. And she uh, kind of guides us in certain certain directions. And, and uh, we lean on her quite a bit for, for information on what we should be doing with our funds. And then to the right of her is my wife, Olivia, which uh, she's the brains on the on the Richardson side of things here. Uh, she does a lot of her social media stuff. And then, of course, me on the right. And then the back row, we've got uh, Stan Robinson and then Logan Bishop and then Chris Popkes behind Kristen. Uh, and then his wife wasn't there. She wasn't able to make it that day, but his wife, Carrie is on the group. And then we got Jared Robinson, uh, in between Kristen and Olivia. So you guys gave $81,000 to the, it's the children's miracle network, right? Yes. Yep. Is it still designated to those NICU babies? If I remember correctly, or did you change that up, Chad? So we kind of switched it up. We originally started with it all going to buy the NICU beds, which they're like $40,000 a piece and they've got a shelf life. They don't last very long. Uh, you know, kind of how many hours they're used. And so we did that. And then we ended up the first year we bought one of those. And the second year we bought, uh, one of those and then the heating warming blankets. And then as our Pull started growing and the number was growing. We're like, what What can we do? We need to set some really high standards and high goals for us. And so we actually signed uh, last year a $250,000 pledge uh, with them. They are building a new hospital down here. And so we got, got with them and sat down. And I mean, it took quite a bit of time to figure out what we was going to do. But with our $250,000 pledge, uh, 100000 of that is going to a nourishment room which is for the families and the kids when they're able to get out of their, their uh, hospital rooms and it's a place for them to go and sit, just kind of a personalized waiting room uh, that has drinks and food and stuff like that. Uh, and then 75,000 of that is going to the NICU on call suite, which is uh, we wanted to do something for the, the on call doctors where they actually feel at home. So we're basically building an apartment inside the hospital that has their own couch, refrigerator, bed, stove, all that stuff. So they don't have to get out and they can always keep the best help on hand. Uh, and then 75,000 of that is going towards equipment for NICU beds, blankets, things to that nature as what they need. Awesome. Well, kudos, kudos to you guys, Chad. That's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So it is people. So it um, is. Greg, I'm going to put a picture on the screen of you and Lori. From the banquet, John's talking. Uh, I, I got him looking for pictures of a head-on shot, but this is you. Can you kind of talk about what's happening in this picture a little bit, Greg? Oops. Uh, How about I put it on the screen? Great. I promise, right. guys. I'm sober. I promise. So. When we gave the check, is it the big one? The big check? Uh, I this picture I have right here, Greg. Oh, well, this is uh, Lori. We're holding the check there. One of them, you know, the big checks. Like Ricky Bobby gets or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we were just that was a check presentation for the first one was uh, before before we do the auction at the banquet. It was one hundred and seven thousand dollars from the pull and the and the you know we do that Calcutta 
at the auction and then we kind of told that up and and uh the raffle money and everything it told up to be about one hundred and seven thousand. uh this this year was crazy the calcutta you know six tractors brought fifty four thousand dollars what class did you do greg uh the pro stocks okay and for those of you that don't know what a calcutta is um i don't want to assume that greg can you talk about what a calcutta is because we got yeah. a lot of people watching tonight, and I want people to understand that. So it, it's kind of like a 50 50 bet. You, you you put the track out on the track, and say somebody buys my tractor for X amount of dollars, you know, and say there's a thousand dollars on each tractor, you got six thousand dollars there. Uh, if you'd have bought my tractor for a thousand bucks, you'd have won all six thousand, uh, three thousand of it, three thousand, three thousand and a half goes to the children's hospital immediately and and half to the winner but the, the winners every year the last 10 years have donated back nobody's some some guys have taken their original money out and donated the difference but everybody always gives it all back so it's been the ryan Coates has done it uh a couple yep. times he won a couple years in a row and this year uh uh hartung brothers hartung farms won it and they you know they they don't get it all back and it's been really good. You know, you, you, you have an auction, you auction off each tractor and uh, whoever buys the winning tractor wins the pot and they can do what they want with it. You know, Talk so. about the raffle a little, little bit that you guys started uh, a couple years ago, Greg, with Badger State. Um, the, every puller gets what? Five, how, t how do you do that again? Uh, every puller gets a book of tickets, five tickets for $100. They are, and we only print a thousand tickets and we sell them. They're, every one of them is sold in the, in the we give it's a so it's a hundred thousand dollars and you give 50 of it to the winners you know a twenty five thousand dollar prize a fifteen thousand dollar cash prize and a ten thousand dollar cash prize we used to do raffles where everybody donated items and you know when you sold for 10 bucks you had to print thousands of tickets you know just a pain in the butt and we don slam actually came up with this and pushed it a little bit which is fine and, and we all agreed to it a hundred dollar ticket just sell it and you're done you know, five of them and, and everybody sells more than their five books. I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of competitors, you know, Nick score was screaming in the region. I think sells the most every year with uh, 11 or 12 books, you know, and, and then uh, about 10 other group teams on down the line, do it too, you know? So, uh, and, and the, and the, uh, the biggest group of sellers this year was the tech guys, this tech people all sold 22 books between them all. So that was pretty good. You know, Six or seven. Yep. John, John sold six or seven books. and yep. yeah. Also do the paddles there too, Chad. We, we have $20 paddles and $10 paddles for each class. And then we have a number on it, one through. So if there's 10 tractors in it or 10 trucks in it, we have $20 paddles. There's 10 of them. And then there's $10 paddles. There's 10 of them. And if, Chad, if you're puller number two and you win and I got paddle two, then I win half of that pot. See, and then the other half goes in. And a lot of times when you're at the poll, those people will donate that money back in too. Or like Greg said, they'll pull their 20 bucks out and they'll buy another paddle again. And then the rest of the money will go in. Also, shirts too, isn't it, Greg? There's shirts yep. out that get sold there too. And, and that goes there. And then also the food and the beer and the drinks and all that, you know, once it's all done, the bills are paid and then what's left goes goes to that too yep 100 percent of the money made at the poll the fair the fair board keeps the beer money they sell the beer and keep the profit from that and uh for using fair grounds but other than that everything is like you know the the beef is donated by you know and uh the hamburgers are sold so it's 100 percent profit for cheeseburger buns and you know all that you know uh, adam adrian meat market cuts up the hamburger and it's a everything's doing a really good deal yeah so what what we do is uh we sell all the beer and you know keep the proceeds from the from the beer sales uh the food is all done through the paris uh ffa chapter and so we've allowed them to you know they keep the funds from that uh that's their biggest fundraiser event that they do uh which you know we like to help support the community also with what we're doing yep. uh so i know we're giving up giving up some cash flow there but it also is uh going to going to really good cause as well yep. Yep. 
So Chad, so Chad, the idea of this will have a little contest. Now, I got to think about this a little bit. Really, this is one – the Badger State players have one event, and you have one event. So I don't think you can talk a little bit of smack about a whole organization against you, right? Or how do we do that? Well, the raffle – I don't know the raffles. The raffles put on by everybody. I'm trying to figure out a fair way to make a good bet between Badger State and High Limit, Greg, on yeah. for the American Family Children's Bowl. So, a question I have for you guys uh, on the Calcutta: Do you guys get the fans involved in that as well, or is yep. that just a polar thing? It's pretty they big. auction it off, Greg or uh, Chad. One of the auction, one of the announcers. Did you guys bring an auctioneer in this year, Strand Man, or did you do it? We we do it usually. We're we're terrible auctioneers, but half-assed announcers. So That's we true. do it, but there's, yeah, there's people from the crowd, Chad, that do it. Uh, business people, people who want to get in on it. Pullers are in on it. Everybody's in on it that wants to do it. What kind, what kind of time frame does that take away from the pull? Like to pull the tractors out there and do that. What, what do you guys? About 30 you know, minutes. Cause that's stuff that we've all talked about, but we've also, we don't like people sitting around waiting either. We like to keep the show rolling. Yeah. Yeah, we do it, we do it at the show, and I try to do the smallest class so you can get it done. And and uh, and people <clears throat> seem to like to bid on the pro stocks more than you know, for some reason. But anyways, you do a small class, you spend five minutes on each tractor, you know, and okay. you and we we invite bidders. We've you know then the people all the people that bought at the auction this year got invited to the banquet too. Okay, so you invite them back to the pool. You know, the, you get so you get some guys that'll. They're going to give the money to the children's hospital anyways. You might as well go through this and have fun with it. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's a pretty cool, cool thing. I mean, I, the first year we did this, we made 5,000 bucks and we were happier than heck 23 years ago. And it's growing every year. It's this, it gets bigger every year. It's never gone backwards. Yeah. Yep. So it, it's good. And we have a family there too. While the while we're pulling the tractors out on the track, we have a, a family that's been through good or bad at the children's hospital, whether their their child is healthy and good or maybe they helped them either way, you know, even if it if even if it went took a wrong turn. Uh we had uh we have the family there and they tell their story while we're pulling the tractors out of the track and they're on the big this video board, you know, and uh and we do it at the banquet too. A family comes up there too and, and talks and it was and how many times they've been uh, close related to somebody in our organization is crazy. Oh yeah. We found that out as well. Yeah. Yep. So it, it's, they're all great stories. I said, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, they're, 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 they have a, a bad ending, but uh, they, everybody's appreciative of everything that the children's hospitals do for them. Yeah. You know, but it, it gets people in touch. And I, and I, I, I know when Travis and Tierney Wildman told their story, and I, and I turned around and had, you know, you got to start the auction and it, it, you could hurt a pin drop in that, in that, and there's 3,500 people there. And, and there was not one noise. One of my friends, Bill Kinchy said his phone rang when that happened. He was so embarrassed. He, <laughs> he was up in the stands watching, you know, he's a parts guy here in town. And he said, please, I was embarrassed. Nobody was making a noise when my phone rang. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I turned around and there's 16 year old kids in the front rows with, with tears in their eyes. You know, it was a terrible, yeah. yeah. Just, yep. No, it's, uh, you know, and that, that's our, that is our, uh, motto and advertisement for everything is, you know, this is our why. And yep. we've had, you know, a couple videos done that we play before the poll every year, um, uh, before the national anthem. And, uh, you know, we, we had one kid, uh, one year that actually, uh, we have a little farm tractor class before the poll starts and he actually, sat up on a guy's lap and drove drove the tractor pulling the sled down the track. So it was a really, really cool thing. Yeah. That is cool. Yep. Yeah. It, it's, you know, it's, it's the one thing you can do. Every event I say is a charity for something, you know, if the, if the county fairs put it on there doing it to benefit their fairgrounds or yeah. whatever, everything you do is a, is a charity event. So it's hard to set one ahead of another one. It's just, this is the one we do. And all the pullers donate their hooks. It used to be, the first years, we said, if you want your class there, you had to go out and get a sponsor for your class. And eventually, I think it was Randy Bruce said, well, why don't we just take the sponsorship money and put it in the, you know, right in the, you know, the pri the donation instead of trying to pay somebody. 
you know, and then that, that just started the snowball effect and everybody wants to pull. And every year we ask at spring meeting if your class wants to be a part of it. If not, they, you know, yes or no. You know, and a couple of years ago, the truck guys had to go to a, a different pull somewhere else. So they weren't part of it. But, you know, we don't make anybody come and do it. It's a points pull, though. Yeah. You know, if your class votes to be there. One thing, yeah. too, Chad, so, obviously, I'm, I'm way more. I've been to your pull, Chad, once or twice. Um, and I've also obviously been to the Badger State one more than that. They actually move. We moved from a smaller venue to like a bigger fairground, Chad, and I really feel like that took that took this event to the next level. Got in. I uh, don't. You agree, Greg and John? Yeah, yeah. and it, it was the first year after COVID too. You know, yeah. it really, where we moved to this this grounds, and it really, I think that was a big part of it too. You know, it's what it's an early event in the year. We that that was our first pull that year too. Yeah, and everybody was ready to go do something. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, we used to have it in my hometown here, and I didn't know if I could get help, you know, to move it somewhere. We only had half the classes every time because we couldn't get them done before midnight and uh, moved it up there, two classes, and, and the fairgrounds up there and the local guys up there helping. It's great. You know, and they, they actually won uh, the Chef's Award this year for favorite meal served at a tractor pull. Awesome. You know, yep. The pickle Chad, talk about that. Chad, can you talk about your poker run again? That that's that sounds sounds like something Greg does every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we uh, we did the poker run, which uh, was all side by sides. I think we went like I think we had a fifty mile trip planned throughout the day, and then three stops, and uh, just kind of let everybody have a good time and hang out and get some uh, get some alcoholic beverages in them, and then that night we got back, we had a dinner and. Uh, an auction, silent auction, uh, had a lot of different things going on, had some really cool gifts donated. Uh, so it, it, it turned out really, really good. Oh, that's cool. That's, we have an auction at our banquet then too. Uh, and Dean Monty kind of started this four or five years ago with some badger tickets he wanted to raffle off for the children. And, uh, we did that and it's that, that snowballed now too, to some big events, you know, some big ticket items. Uh, Chris Feller did uh, Bucks tickets last year in a suite. Uh, Tim Abbey and his wife, and I forget the name of their law office, donated 18 tickets to a suite with all the food and booze included this year. And that was auctioned off. I mean, uh, well, and Chris did some Bucks tickets again. Larry Baumkamp did some buck, buck or Badger tickets. I mean, and it all goes, it, they all go crazy for that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how did you guys, when, when you came up with this idea to, to do what you guys are doing, I, I think you said 20 years ago, 21 years ago, 23 years ago, yep. 23 years ago. Um, how did you guys get the association Badger state involved in being so supportive, you know, choosing your guys's event over all the other events that take place? We, uh, it was Danny Fry and I were sitting and they were doing the St. Jude's telethon. Uh, and we said, we should do something for this week, you know, and they're just terrible stories on the radio. And you know, we were sitting in the shop listening to it. And, and uh, we said, we can do something. We can do something. We said, well, let's just put a tractor pull on and whatever we make, we make, we'll give it to them. You know, and that, that's when we said, if you want to be part of this poll, you go out and get your, your, your class sponsored. And, and there was like four or five classes. And like we said, we made 5,000 bucks or, thought that was great, you know, and moved on. And, and, and then eventually all the pullers are just behind it a hundred percent, you know, just, they love it. It was voted favorite pull of the year in the Badger state uh, pulling this year. I don't know if it was last year or not. I think it was, but maybe it was two years in a row, but I, it's been on the, it's been in the top three in ballots for probably four or five years now. Okay. Yeah. The voting I tried to put back Randy brood. Uh, he, does a pretty good job up there making the track for it. Yeah. I feel like last year was Monroe Greg two years ago, and I think this year was the benefit poll. So yep. yeah. If I remember correctly. Yep. I think it was too. Fall nationals. Yeah. But there are there are there's a lot of good polls people vote for, you know. Oh yeah. Yep. So you got Greg, what was the what was the total dollar amount then raised this year? You said 152. Is that what you said? Uh, when I left, la the last time I remember was 161, and there were still people giving checks. Okay. You so know, Chad, a lot of the pullers will get their points checked too, and some of them have had their children uh, at the children's hospital, and they'll 
quietly, silently, they'll sign their check and they'll walk over and give it to Lori and just walk away, you know? Yeah. And there's pullers that do that too, that toss money in. Uh, the ATV club that helps out at the event up there, they come with a check usually every year and give some money. And other yep. people there too that are there donating. And, and like the Abbey family, like Greg was saying, last year they were at the banquet. They were so moved to the generosity to people there at the auction. That's why they donated the hockey tickets and the suite and, and all that to help raise money for UW because they thought it was such a good thing. So it's yeah, everything yeah. caught up. Hey, with that too. You know, that 265-gallon tote of glyphosate they donated with them say, with that yep. same. Yep. AC Agronomy. Yep. AC Agronomy. Tim Abbey. Yep. Yep. AC Agronomy. So it's just, it's snowballing. It keeps snowballing. So hopefully yours, yours does the same thing, Chad, because, you know, even fun competition, it, it, it's for the kids. It's for, oh, yeah. you know, a great thing. And, and if we can all go out and enjoy an evening with one another and, and have a poll and have some great sponsors there to help put money towards such a great event and something that you can see that that is uh, you know doing good in the community, you know, in your area as well as ours. It's just, it doesn't get any better. No, for sure, for sure. And and I tell I we do the president's meeting down at the Lucas Oil Banquet and of the clubs, you know, and I I sit in there and I tell them the guys say, How do you get all these sponsors? And I stuff, hey, do something like this. get your name out there that you're doing something like this. And the sponsors come to you. They yeah. they do. And it's easy. When you do something like this and they all want to be part of it, they see it. You, they see all the hype around. And if you're going to sponsor something, it's really, it, it, it makes it you know, to, to sponsor a club that's doing something like this. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So here's the deal. Time to get, time to get serious. Okay. So yeah. Basically. It's like it's like 260 grand between the two clubs, or no? What? Yeah, no, 240. I can't add. Wow, I'm tired. You're um, not, you're a mortgage guy. <laughs> I have um. Well, I I always round up on interest rates. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <it's pretty> <laughs> no, I love you guys. Hold on. Three, four. Yeah, about a hundred. Huh? An interest rate roll loan for my house. <laughs> yeah, about two hundred forty-three thousand uh, was raised between the two clubs. Now, to Chad's point, they're a standalone event. You know, with one event, you know, and then this is all Badger State, so basically doubled. So, do we look at a percentage L scene? So, basically, like if they, how would we do this? I need some help, guys. Let, let me let me ask you this. Let's. What are what do you guys set goals of what you're trying to? trying to accomplish and raise each year we haven't we've never set a goal we've always tried to do better than the last year okay you know and that's kind of done but it's you know i don't know i don't i would know how to do this well you know we're gonna have a certain you know we have cost in it too you know so it's hard to say that that like that fifty thousand from the raffles 100 percent in there it's not you know, because there's a lot of costs in putting oh, all yeah. that. On. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. We could just keep track of what's raised at the event, I guess. Diff for something and take the raffle money out. Yeah, but Chad's doing that poker run, so that's kind of like the raffle. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I want to. I almost want to do a percentage. Like this year, you basically doubled them up, and that's like, you know, if you don't double them up again next year, you lose. That's kind of where my brain's going with this, but. I thought I'm trying to figure it out. You know, who 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 increases their total donation by a percentage? That that's what I'm thinking. We do it by yeah. a percentage where uh yeah, you know, if, if we raise a hundred thousand this year and you raise uh a hundred and seventy thousand, right, then you're gonna be shipping cheese curds this way. Right? <laughs> <laughs> See that Schultz? Who's the brains around here? Those two birds. Right? That's fine. That's fine. I'm not afraid. <laughs> yeah, we could we could do that. And see who could who could increase it by the percentage. Yeah. So if Chad would hit a hundred thousand, so we take a hundred thousand minus eighty one nine thirty eight point five, and we divide that back into the eighty eighty one nine thirty eight. Oops, shoot. Uh, 
then he would have had 20, he'd have 22% growth. He, did you guys see how we did that? Subtract the difference, divide it yeah. back in the original. So it's going to be a growth competition. So Greg would have to do, Badger State would have to do next One, year. 2%. That, yeah, 22% or more. I'd have to do the math on that. I'd have to back, back into that. So you'd, you'd almost have to do 200,000, Greg. 40,000 would get you to 200,000. You divide that by 161. That's 24. That's you're you're going to have to do, yeah. Jump for us, though. I mean, really, we've never jumped that much. No. We've, well, and I don't know that we're going to jump from, you know, 20,000, you yeah. know. Yeah, no, I'm just using, I'm yeah. just using, you know, but I think this is the best way to do it, so. Yeah, because if you go back and look at our jumps per year, you know, they've been about, uh, besides this last year, they've been about $10,000 a year increase. Uh, let's see, we went 40, 51, 71, and 82. So they've been about, been 10 to Twenty thousand dollar increase. Okay. Again, okay. it's it's all for fun, but I do want to have a little competition with it because then yep. you guys, you know, Chad, you can use this against you know with your team, and obviously Greg will because Greg yeah. loves to stir the pot. He's a pot stirrer. He's a professional. Yeah. So, <laughs> when's your event, Chad? Uh, June fourteenth. Oh, same day as ours. Same day as ours. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. Uh. Well, but I'll what well, I'll a bag of cheese curds. What do we get from Missouri? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor <laughs> Swift. <laughs> so you tell Doug Ruth to send up a prime rib. What's that? Then you tell Doug Ruth to send up a prime rib. I can do that. Yeah, oh. we're actually going down to his house. To, he's opening his new meat market. We're going to go visit him the weekend it's, when he opens it. We're coming down before Christmas. We were planning on it. Yeah. Him, yeah. How we, far are you? Uh, probably about two and a half hours. Okay. Yep. Yep. I've got over the years. I've got to be pretty good friends with Doug and D. So. Yep. They are very, very great people. Yep. Yeah. You got to tell Chad story about uh, Hillsboro. What Doug did up there. I don't know if you heard the story, Chad. I don't think I had. Let's oh. tell that story about Doug. Chad, I announced up to Hillsboro and. I've announced a long time, and to get me to not talk, uh, you got to move mountains. So anyway, uh, got to be great friends with Chad and Dee. Um, Dee had colon cancer. My wife has colon cancer, so we connected pretty good and, and chat now and then, Facebook and whatever. And so anyway, they, they come to Hillsboro to pull. Uh, the first year, there's this this kid that was there, 17 or something, and uh the kid had, has cancer, and he come and visit the tractor. Just loved Doug's tractor. Got pictures taken with it and, and whatnot. So next year comes around, and that kid comes back again, and he wants to sit in the seat this time. And and Doug could tell that, you know, he's getting pretty sick and, and, and whatnot. And so he let him sit in the tractor and took pictures and, you know, had a good time chatting with him and his family. And so Doug got, I think, second place that night. And he come up to get his trophy. And just before we talked, the other announcer was was talking. And he says, hey, don't don't turn that on yet. I got a question. I'm like, yeah, what is it? He says, can I give my trophy away? I'm like, yeah, it's, it's your trophy. You can, you can do what you want. Why? He says, well, remember us talking about that boy that's sick? I'm like, yeah, I want to give it to him. I'm like, perfect. I said, what's his name? And he told me his name. I said, all right. I said, I'll call him up here. So I called him up there, and that kid come running from the bottom of the stairs all the way up to the announcer stand at the top. And I don't know how many steps that is. It's a long ways up. And he run up there, and he was so excited. And uh, D was crying, and Doug was crying, and I was crying, and I couldn't even talk. I mean, it just took my breath away. It was such a, a great moment that night, and uh, I couldn't say a word. Couldn't get nothing. Yeah. The man, those two. Yeah. How can you do more? Yep. That's that's awesome. That's very, very cool. Yep. Yep. So so back to the back to the bat. Uh so percentage, percentage growth year to year. Okay. I got it I got it wrote down. I'm gonna throw it up here on my wall. Okay. And then um cheese a bag of cheese curds. 
Uh, do you have a particular you have a particular brand of cheese curds that you want, uh, Chad? Or do you, what would you say the best cheese curd is in Wisconsin? Car Valley. Car Valley. We're, we're, we're from Missouri. We don't have a clue. So you guys <laughs> cheese curds, okay. cheese curd. Well, I've got a Car Valley in my hometown here. I can get them shipped right direct to you. All I would right. say they're the, they're the most well known. Yeah. Um, I think as tractor pullers, we should involve some alcohol in it too drink because that's kind of what we do i think we have spotted cow in wisconsin i think we should throw a case of cow chad what do you have that's particular to just missouri for booze uh look at john <laughs> we have obviously budweiser uh we've got a lot of other uh a lot of local places that make really good beer uh log boats one of them uh Burr Oak Brewery. So there's there's a lot of places around here. We could do something like that if you guys like that kind of beer, or we could uh whatever whatever you guys want. Any kind of beer I win from you, I'm gonna drink. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it has a sticker on it says good. diesel fuel with cetane. <laughs> oh, I love it. Full train energy drink down there too. Is that yeah, not too far from where we are? Yeah, Jason was just there. Uh, it's it's over by California, isn't it, Jason? Yeah, just in Syracuse. Yep. Okay. Yep. Wait, I hit it on the way home. I hit it on the way home from the banquet, uh, the outlaw banquet, a couple weeks ago. So. Yep. Yep. And I spent they they were with us all weekend at PRI. Um, they didn't bring enough. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> it was a, it was pretty wild down there with those guys. That was pretty fun. So. Yep. Yeah. Pretty fun. Well, are down here their signature drink is made with coltrane uh, uh they used to monster energy drink or red bull or something they switched it to coltrane and now they they can't keep it keep enough there you know so the shop the, it's called the shop down by dennis fair valley performance oh, right really? next to performance yeah ah yeah so so i'm going to summarize it First of all, it's amazing what Badger State has done for American Family Children's Hospital over the years. Greg, have you added it up over the years, total, total dollar amount? Uh, we switched from St. Jude's to American Family Children's Hospital. It's over a million dollars. Yep. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we, I, I, I'm not telling my St. Jude story, but, I, yeah, we switched to uh, the more local hospital, and they have just as many beds as St. Jude does. So I don't know why. Yeah, I know it's over a million bucks. It was it was five hundred thousand dollars where I like five hundred some for for uh, St. Jude or for uh, America. well hell in the last two years we've done two fifty. Right. No, three nine two ninety. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. so it, it's it's quite a bit. And then Chad, what what number of year are you on, bud, with high limit? Is it five or six or is it seven now? Uh, let's see. I think we've done one, two, three, four, four, four events. This will be number five coming up. Awesome. They, they get bigger every time and the guys get more excited for it every time. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. That's good. They're both good cause. I mean, at the children's hospital, you can't do anything better than that. Yeah, for sure. So we have a bag of, bag of car valley curd from Wisconsin and a case of spotted cow versus a, a prime rib from Doug Ruth. And um, some some local beer that whatever Chad will pick out, uh, just to have some fun between get, get you a sampler pack. Sampler pack. Yeah. Sampler yeah. pack. So we can do that too. And get then um, the biggest will be the growth growth percentage year to year. Uh, this year, Badger State raised one hundred sixty one thousand, so, and then they're going to do their percentage of growth versus um, high limit productions eighty one thousand nine thirty eight. So it's it's amazing what both groups have done. You know, just just shows the heart of the 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 heart and soul of the truck and tractor pulling community. How awesome it is! And then hopefully, some of you picked up some good ideas tonight. Um, if any of you have any good ideas, or if you want to get involved with the American Family Children's Hospital pull with the Badger State Tractor Pullers, uh, message us on um, the Facebook page or just call Elsine anytime because he loves to answer his phone. Four 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 seven nine five six six zero eight four 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 seven nine five six. Chad Richardson. Again, full high limit productions down there, Paris, Missouri. They do an amazing job. And again, uh, we're doing what we love, and, that, and that's what it's all about. And it's for the kids. So, um, 
if you guys don't have anything else, we'll wrap it up. Merry Christmas to everybody, Chad. Thanks for coming on tonight. I know yeah, you're going to come on last week. Yep. You're going to come on last week, but you're actually having a meeting. So yep. uh, I appreciate yeah, you coming booking, on tonight. Booking our classes for this year. So Good deal. Good uh, deal. Thanks, Chad. It's nice talking. Hey, thank you, guys. It's uh, it's on. It, it, honestly, it's an honor to be trying to compete with you guys on on doing something like this because you guys are outstanding at what you do. Chad, so, to, to be Chad, able to, I don't, Chad, I, Chad, I don't want you to leave on a like a real humble note like that. I need you to kind of, <laughs> I need you to kind of say something kind of smartassy to Elsie because I'll fire him up. Okay, I know how he works. So hey, we just to... we're gonna take we're gonna take the slow roll approach in. Yeah. <laughs> I think so we're going to set you up, Elsie. He's setting you up. So. <laughs> yeah, I see that. We're going to struggle to do the as big a percentage, I think. But well, that we got a goal, right? That's all that matters. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. And, and the the winners at the end is the hospital. So yeah, yeah. absolutely. So and whoever whoever wins next year, we'll actually do a live when that other person's drinking their beer, chatting. Greg, is that okay? Eating their food. So that'll work. Actually, that might be worth a road trip, honest to God. That would be uh, – we, we could take the show on the road. Yeah. Elsie's got a great shop. Richardson, you got a great shop. I've been – I've I've drank adult beverages in both of your shops, and it'd be fun to do it again. So yeah, it'd be fun to do it again. So, All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, Chad, I'm really sorry about your Kansas City Chiefs. Um, are the Packers – are they winning, Greg, right now? They're just struggling to get a first down. They, they got it. So okay, good, good deal. <laughs> They're playing the Giants tonight. So. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for watching everybody. Again, it's, it's, it's a great cause and uh, we're gonna have a little fun with this and I appreciate all of you. So uh, that's all I got for tonight. Greg, uh, sign off as El Presidente of the Badger State Tractor Pullers, please. We're good. Uh, and you know, I want to thank our, our sponsors, uh, Matt Caster, Ed Casper with Casper Ag and uh, Don Slama and Trip Downing for sure. We, without them, uh, we couldn't do as well as we do. So thank awesome. you guys. Awesome. Have a great night, everybody. See you next right, week. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, Jim.